Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Hey, we're just shooting, uh, you know, we're shooting a video from inside the house today, and I'm just going to walk you guys around and show you some stuff that's on the walls or leaning against the walls. And the first thing we're starting the video out with is this Surfers Union shortboard special edition turbo from 1985. I've had this board since 1985. It's a square tail. Got this beautiful sunburst and these pinstripes over gray. There used to be a O'Neill wetsuit sticker right there in the center, but it bubbled up and I peeled it off. That's why it looks like that. Uh, anyway, yeah. I bought this in uh, Point Pleasant, New Jersey. This is a seven footer Thurso Surf. It's a it's a soft top, but it's a really fun soft top. Uh, uh, Trifin. This is a painting of this nude green woman that I did that's really big. Like, it's probably, I don't know, seven feet tall, standing straight up when it's standing up. And I never finished this. Here's my Planet of the Apes tapes. I'm, trying, I'm gonna try not to show like too much dirt and dust. Oh, look at this. This should be so my uh, this place. You know, really, it's like a, it's like an extension. It's like a my room when I was 15. Except now I'm almost 60. Anyway, this is an original Road Warrior poster that was uh, given to me when I saw the Road Warrior. For the first, maybe it was the opening night. This was in uh, at, uh, the United Artists. Was it the UA? This is at the UA Theater on Alvarado Street in Monterey, California. Me and my friends saw this. And as you exited the theater, they gave you every, they gave everybody one of these posters rolled up. And there's mine. It needs to be fixed and framed, flattened out and framed. That's an original Road Warrior poster, you guys. There's some action figures. And some other just weird stuff. Look, there's some the 49er. Look at this. This is a Larry Holmes versus Jerry Cooney poster. The WBC World Heavyweight Championship from March 15, 1982 at Caesars, Caesars Palace. I remember this. I mean, I thought, yeah. So anyway, I remember this fight. It was a <laughs> Cooney. Was he called the Great White Dope, or, or not? Am, am I am I wrong about that? Look at this Master of the Universe poster as well. This has been here for years and years and years. It's all ripped and curled up. This is an actual old Master of the Universe poster, I think, from the '80s. I don't know. It's old. Used to put these record albums up here. There's some good ones, right? You're going to look at these albums. You're going to go, dang, Meyer, you have good taste, right? But why do you have your albums? Oh, that's my first, that's my original first Jim Croce album right there. Uh, why do you have your albums hanging up like this, Meyer? This is terrible. They're going to just be warped and it's going to screw them up. And um, I just like enjoying stuff. If I didn't have these up, I wouldn't be able to look at them, right? I wouldn't be able to see them. They would... Uh, It'd be on a shelf, and I don't listen to records anymore. I don't even have a record player. This is an original piece made by a local artist named Skinner. This was from a party in Sacramento in 2003. It was a gift. There's some other pieces that are also uh, like original prints and lithographs that I purchased from the artists in Golden Gate Park. I just saw this in the background. This is a painting I did of uh, Louise Brooks. Uh, about 10 years ago and that's my fish that's my uh it's like a, i don't know six two yeah it's a, it says six two right there found this this print this uh like stretched print like one of those see how it's like probably not cheap anyway it was on the street one day and i just picked it up and carried it home and it's freaking awesome gustav klimt Oh, there's Lobo. 
There's that open double spread from the Who double album. Remember that? Man, I love this album cover, don't you guys? <laughs> don't crush that dwarf. Hand me the pliers. This is a uh, this just this also just this screen print or something that I purchased from the artist that made it in Golden Gate Park. I always liked it. I really liked it. But, uh, another one of those. This is the same thing, purchased from the artist in Golden Gate Park. This is a little painting that I did that I made a copy of, and this is the, the I, I gave the original to a friend of mine, and uh, this is a, a copy of it that I made. This is a calendar from 1970 that is from my dad's old work that was uh, my mom's. She still has stuff in here. I would have been five. Got to switch it to March. Uh oh, this piece of, of the calendar is it sucks. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Technical difficulties. So my father was a helicopter pilot, and he used to fly for Bell Helicopters. This was his work and so yeah so that's why we that's why I, and I, I just I like to put calendars up this is a, a drawing that was done by my youngest son I don't know where my son gets it, uh, right? That's my boy right there. Yeah, this is art by my youngest son, Dylan. This is a uh, another one of those prints that I purchased from the original artist in Golden Gate Park. Like a lithograph or a screen print. These would always be really cheap. So essentially what would be happening is these guys would usually have affordable pieces, small pieces of art, like a dollar or two dollars for like just prints, little ones, you know, like Xerox copy ones or uh, buttons or stickers or a zine for two or three dollars. Then they would usually, a lot of the times they'll have like a stack of these and they'll be ten dollars, but they'll only, you could see, they'll, they'll only have been able to afford to make like a stack of 10 or 20 of them and so I would always buy one of those if they're good yeah I buy them this is a painting that I did on a just a really thin sheet of wood from when I worked at the boatyard I used to just paint on pieces of scrap wood if they looked cool here is a poster concert poster for fish at the warfield Here's an original Jerry Rice poster from The Good Guys. Here is a, <laughs> a drawing of Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses. And here is Marilyn Manson. And this is this really cool tiger that I bought in Korea. And it's, it's a piece of of like black cardstock paper that this guy cuts with teeny tiny manicuring scissors. That's all one piece of paper. And he would use like an exacto knife and these little tiny scissors and he would be sitting in his little little hut there and he would make like these. And some of them were really big and cool and elaborate, but this was like 10 bucks. And then he like puts them on foil or different backgrounds and stuff. 
here's Alice's restaurant. Here's an empty spot. There's the Ramones and Kiss Dressed to Kill. There's some wrestling masks. This one, well, I discovered that you could take that those plastic containers that the rotisserie chickens come in from the grocery store and wash them out. Then you can put a mask over those. That's like a cheap gorilla mask over a, oh, it's a cheap gorilla mask over a rotisserie chicken box with a rubber ball cut in half, painted white and black dots painted on there for eyes, and then a, uh, a wrestling mask, an authentic one that I bought. It's an old one, probably from the 90s. This is a new one that came from the Mission District that my friend gave me. It's like a, like a knockoff, probably made in a, in a sweatshop here in the city or something. This, is, it's, this one's dusty, but this is an actual, real, like, ring-used Lucha Libre mask. It's, it's got uh, a padded, padded top. It's got all the lacing on the back. You can see through this stuff. Uh, this makes an outstanding Halloween costume. I used it a couple times for a Halloween costume. What I do is I just wear a suit and tie with jewelry with like a like fake bling. And I look just like one of those guys from like El Santo. This is another original piece done by the local artist named Skinner. You guys should check him out. The Art of Skinner. S-K-I-N-N-E-R. He's on YouTube. He just made a really cool short film, as a matter of fact. He, he lives in that area. Uh, this is a painting I did of Frankenstein, the ghost of the Frankenstein monster. Here's some promo posters. Some Joker statue and this cool Madman Comics promo poster from my friend's comic shop from the 90s. And then this is an original death of captain marvel poster from when i worked at a comic shop in the 80s and it's got the tape on the right here because the idea was you peel this off and then you stick it to the inside of the window of your shop but uh i took it home maybe they sent us two i'm pretty sure i put one of these up in the window but i took this one home all this great stuff here's a big container filled with kaiju look at that there's some awards well there's a there's saint michael right he's the patron saint of paratroopers there's an award for uh, best hot dog roll for my son dylan and there's a couple awards that i received some veterans awards and uh local dance award believe it or not yeah yeah it really is toby this is uh the wall o me this is like all of my military stuff well not even close to all of it this is some of my military stuff there's a photograph of my father in uh, Korea. This is during the Korean conflict. Here's a photograph of me. This is in Bahrain during Operation Desert Storm. It says Desert Shield, but this was pretty sure this was already after it. Here's a big painting of Samurai Jack that I did on this piece of like poster paper, whatever you call it. For my kids way back when samurai jack was on tv what is this 1998 1999 2000 it is here's my kids this is me uh i used to i, I made a made I, I really wanted to be an actor when i was a little kid and i was in a commercial and uh i really wanted to be an actor This is an uncut, uncut uh, sheet of Madman cards. A complete sheet of Madman cards, but uncut. This is my son Dylan's handprint from when he was two. 
There are my two sons. This is a great quote from my cousin Edna who passed away. This is an autograph from Brent Jones to me. He was a tight end for the San Francisco 49ers. Planet of the Apes, Sid Haig. That's Bella Lugosi Jr. That's uh, PJ Souls. That's uh, my father on the far left and uh, Nancy and Ronald Reagan and uh, Ronald, Ronnie, little Ron. This is, now we, now we enter into the, uh, the, the pathological zone of psychosis. This is just, I'm just, I, I don't even feel like I can narrate this. We're just going to look at everything. These are my Guantanamo Land books. Hey, this is a, a an unused cover. This is a cover proof from this Heckle, Heckle and Jekyll comic, uh, and it's exactly what I just said. It. So this is a this is a cover that wasn't cut, and wasn't folded, and wasn't stapled to a book. You know, to a comic book. And yeah, this is my Mark's Best of the West Wild West action figure horse collection. And then let's just look at stuff, right? I can't say what everything is. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. There's little, very little organization here. I mean, the comic books are all alphabetical and the books are... But the, the toys, everything that's on the shelves is just stuff that's that's out for just because it's I want to see it if that makes sense Look, that's what Modoc is supposed to look like. This uh, stealth, stealth suit Iron Man is outstanding. This is uh, most of these are Marvel Legends, and but some of these are um, Marvel Select. But most of these are Marvel Legends. The larger ones are what are called Marvel Select. I painted this King Kong painting right here. 
you know, from the Dino De Laurentiis version. This is this. <laughs> I just love this poster. It's just such a, such an odd, cool, unusual poster, and this is like my adoptive TV family. I loved this show as a kindergartner. I began watching this show because I was an early bird. I came home from kindergarten, I think, at 1230. And uh, this was the first show that was on. And I would sit at the table and eat SpaghettiOs and grilled cheese and, uh, I, and wish that Samantha Stevens was my mother. This is like a Czechoslovakian... Is it Czech? I feel like this is Czech. This is a Czech uh, Empire Strikes Back poster. And I love this. Uh, so this is Planet, the original Planet of the Apes, you know, this movie. I love this poster, but this is one of my all-time favorite films. I mean, this is right up there. It's in my top five. Uh, it's right up there. It's just so hard to, you know, have, a, say, a top five or a top ten. But this is always, you know, it's right there. It's one of my favorites. This is an original Buck Rogers poster that came in that, you know, fold-up thing, you know. The other side of this is all, like, articles and interviews about the show. It's another promo poster from the comic shop that I used to work at. This is when the, uh, this was just coming out, you know, the Bernie Wrights and Frankenstein. Just some other stuff. This is an original piece by uh, the artist. Uh, I forget his name. His name's on the back. Uh, he used to work for, he used to draw uh, for Thundar the Barbarian. He was an old dude that used to go to conventions here. And, and he would just draw these while he was sitting, basically. He had a big stack of colored paper and, like, Sharpie markers and pens. And he was just, like, just knocking this stuff out. And he was, like, 70 years old at the time. This uh, Star Wars poster was, like, you would send away and for in like, sheer detergent or something. And they mailed it to you. That's what this is from. It's, like, from 1979. It's a reproduction King Kong poster. I think we're done, you know? I think let's just end on that. Look at this cool, like, I mean, he drew something that had never happened. He drew the uh, Emer fighting the amazing Colossal Man inside of the L.A. Coliseum, it looks like. Oh, did that happen? I don't think it did. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, talk to you later. Have a great day.